Boo. Got it. Hey, how are hey. you? Hey, this Welcome here is Kim Titus. And you found Azriel Lawless and you have fallen once again into Hella Vella, where we talk about all things to do with the exciting new reading platform from Kindle called Vella, where you can read epic Vella. stories one episode at a time. And again, this is Kim Titus. Say hello, Kim. Hey, hey everyone. Hey, hello, Bella community. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to have the best time today. Well, well, I can't wait. I have invited you to my deck, my patio. This is North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina, blue skies. Fantastic. I know, Fantastic. I, know I know. This is actually a seat where I wrote Murder, Mayhem, and Macarons. That is very exciting. I was going to ask you what are the titles of your velas, and, but I already know them you know, but <laughs> I want you to tell everybody what right. that is. The Murder, Mayhem, one. and Macarons has just skyrocketed. I've watched it be on the, on the ribbon of the, um, the featured stories before. I've, I saw it, I know, at least twice. Tell us about it. Tell everybody at Vela where you got the idea for this and, uh, you know, what, tell us about the story. Um, all right. The story is about um, Allie. And she's a broke, or Alex, sorry. I didn't know my story, no. Alex, uh, she's a, an accountant, a broke accountant from New York City. And she is trying her hardest, pay the rent, do everything right. She gets caught up in one of her clients' scandals. And I can't give away too much, but it does involve a cute uh, millionaire and his murdered ex-wife. So um, she's in she gets involved she has to solve the case she may or may not solve the case but uh, she has a great time in the entire Bella trying to just get herself um off the suspect list I mean that was her only goal and uh, <laughs> <laughs> she might have got a few more things at the end that she wasn't asking for but um, I got to thank everyone who has read it because, yeah, I am blown away because I'm relatively brand new author. Um, I started doing teen romance and this is my first into uh, murder, but I always like humor. So humor is my genre. That is wonderful. It's and it's 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 underrepresented, I think, out on Vela. Absolutely. Um, so I'm very happy. I'm always happy to see something different you know um it's it's great and I think humor I think we all need it right now you know it's well, that's the thing like uh when I get the reviews and they say oh, it gave me a little bit of a break from my crazy life or my um what's going on just in the world today I'm like yes those are my people those are my yes, exactly this is what I'm trying <laughs> to give you <laughs> that's the best compliment anyone could give me is that you know they got a break break for a while and laugh break from life mm -hmm. yes yes what what a thing you know what a gift to give someone a break from the reality that we're having to live right now I know especially through the last couple of years so um yes so if you need Enough. so yeah Enough. anyone who thinks it's serious no 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 you keep moving because <laughs> it was it was just a fun, <laughs> a fun little fella and that's what it is excellent and what what gave you the idea for it uh, well, uh, I had been an accountant for 22 years I in see. New York, but not New York City, upstate New York. Um, and I had been in my 20s involved in an FBI scandal. No one was murdered. But so I've kind of put a little of my own story in it. Um, That's why it's so flipping good. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I was 26. The FBI is calling me. My boss was involved in a huge, huge scandal. And uh, what do you do? What do you do? You're brand new to corporate America. And what do you do? So I think uh, that's what um, Alex is trying to figure out. What do you do? That and, is wonderful. Uh, so yeah. So the idea was kind of natural to me, but I definitely wanted to have a Joyce character in there that's kind of like the mother hen guiding her but is kind of crazy too and you just don't know quite what she's going to do next so Joyce was actually my favorite character of the whole Bella 
Oh man, wonderful. Well, Murder, Mayhem, and Macarons, I got to tell you, read it. The link will be in the description of this video here. You just click that sucker and you'll be right there to episode one so you can read it. But that's only one of her villas, so don't go away. What is the second one? I have it written down here as uh, The Shores of Driftwood Isle. Yes. So when I first was um, thinking about putting something on Vela, I really didn't know about serialized reading. Um, obviously, if you've read it, the first one, um, you're like, well, it's not a serialized, it's complete. I mean, that's another thing that's different about Murder, Mayhem, and Macarons. Um, it is complete. I'm not adding to it. I did because um, it made top five. I did a thank you epilogue that's free. Um, you can check out my Instagram on that. Uh, for everyone just for reading it because I never actually posted an epilogue for that. Uh, so once I figured out like this Bella thing's pretty cool. So I'm doing a actual serialized of the Shores of Driftwood Isle. There's going to be four seasons. My seasons that are on there right now are kind of in beta and I just kind of did that to like get some feedback and I, I was fully planning on like taking them off and doing ebooks like um but i love bella so much so i am going to send the shores off this month to an editor and i'll start um releasing them probably april or may so that that one's not yet available it's on there it's in beta form and i in my author's notes i have this is in beta form and if you want to be part of the curriculum development you know the content and it already has 600 likes so obviously people kind of like that and i've been getting just feedback from readers fantastic so it's kind of so i'm not really advertising that one yet it's kind of like on the down low but it's there and i'm hoping that it will it will be pretty exciting and That's it will be a true serialized book or bella well, we're, uh, I'm definitely going to put it, it's on my reading list for sure, because I love Murder, Mayhem, and Macarons. Um, I did not finish it because you know how it is with uh, Vela writers. You, you're bouncing around and reading so many different writers' stuff. A lot of times you do not have time to finish what you're, what you're working on, but I will. I will eventually. Um, All right. Let's see. So the next thing I want to ask you is about your advertising and your social media presence. Um, have you, what, do you have a uh, sort of a campaign going to advertise yourself? All right. I don't want to like be the model star for this. Cause I mean, I've made so many mistakes, like you wouldn't believe and just trying different things. I, like I said, I'm a completely new author. Um, I published, or these are like real books. I know we're talking about Vela, but I published uh, Dancing with Aurora, Teen oh, Romance. Nice. Yeah, so this is in 2020. That was my first book. Yeah. And then the sequel to the duology I published in November. See, it's kind of pretty. Discovering Ooh, Alaska. Right. Oh, and again, I know that you used to live in Alaska. Yeah, I'm from Alaska. Um, again, I put a lot of Aurora in me. And so <laughs> my friends will attest that Aurora is similar, way too similar. And then Discovering Alaska is about Aurora's daughter. And she's grown up in L.A. and uh, wants to get back to Alaska. So Aurora mm. grows up in Alaska, wants to get out somewhere. And uh, isn't that always the way? Yeah. So they kind of want to switch places and they're both juniors while the books are being written. So I wrote these and I was actually kind of busy with discovering Alaska last year when uh, murder started to go crazy. Um, but. I basically use Instagram and Facebook and doing some Facebook ads. Uh, but like I said, I am brand new and just trying to, to do well, the I audiences. I'm making all the right moves myself. I think you're making all the right moves. Um, I ask everybody, uh, how have you enjoyed your experience on Vela? Oh gosh, I've loved every minute of it. It's like the craziest ride ever. And uh, I know Amazon's still trying things out and, and they, they'll jig and jig and, and the authors on the group is great and we all try to help each other out and it's sort of kind of like a family between, you know, the Vela itself, Amazon, 
and then the authors were all working together and then the readers and the readers are trying to like figure it out exactly it's a, <laughs> it's a lot of educating the readers i will tell you that um there's a I'm lot afraid, of it i mean it's it sounds way more confusing than it is yes. and if i ever have to write it down i even have to tell people it's not really going to be hard but it's going to be complicated <laughs> I've got a sister who's just like thrown up her hands. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> no, I'm like, all right, it's 500 and so, so murder is 577 tokens. I've counted that. <laughs> that is how much. And so people are like, okay, but I have to buy how many? Oh, well, you had 200 free. Oh, no, no. Okay. So now you only have to buy. And they're like, oh, my goodness. Isn't it like 2.99 on ebook? <laughs> like, not yet. <laughs> So anyway, it's a lot of education, um, but I think once people do it once or you help them through it once, then then it's easy. And that's my next question. Since Vela allows you to, and I think this is exciting, mm -hmm. leave your Vela up and make an ebook out of it. Is macarons coming out soon? I think I'm going to do it. I, if you would have asked me two months ago, I would have been like, no, it's a Vela. That's my first Vela. I'm just doing it there. And I have so much other things going on. I wasn't thinking about it, but um, yeah, I mean, I've got a lot of feedback. Do we do the, oh, yeah. So, I would and love to have of, a macarons book in my hand. Oh, yeah. so would I. And a real pretty cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see he's stroking that cover. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, I love to touch them too. So like, I am kind of new to serialized reading myself as a reader. So yeah. Um, yeah, I like, first of all, the agent cover, your agent cover is so pretty. You like, like that? Oh. I love, I love that cover. So well, thank um, you. <laughs> I, I suck at graphics. I suck at just about all that stuff. I think I'm a pretty decent writer, but the graphics part and the um, the ads part, I just look at some of these other Vela authors ads and I'm just like, oh, how can I ever do that? I don't know how I could ever do that. Like the masthead for Hella Vela here, that's done by another Vela author. Mm. Um, he just gave it to me, you know, and the masthead on Facebook, he did the mastheads and he just gave them to me and he's a graphics artist so oh, i didn't do that that's these that's, are great though yeah, I, would have those. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't do that <laughs> <laughs> and um uh, but have you also i love the idea of merchandising merchandising um like having a water bottle for the book mm -hmm. having a t-shirt for the book have you explored any of that oh my goodness all right now that you mentioned it let's see it Woo, 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 woo. I'm from my shores of Driftwood Isle. It is a beach read because I love the beach. I live in North Carolina. Oh, and now I'm hating on you hard. Oh hating my goodness. On you hard because a, 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 an experienced author told me that for the summer coming up, we need to write beach stuff, beach oh, yeah. romance, beach and reads. And you need the horrible thing that's you have. Right, the short. <laughs> you the short horrible thing. Coming out right for the beach. And I think we're going to get these, these fun little floppy hats. What do you think? I love it. I you love it. And then the sunglasses. I don't have I my sunglasses it. out here, but um, yes, the shore. Absolutely wonderful. Good aisle um, hats. And I, I'd like the water bottles. Um, maybe now, macarons towel. would be perfect. The, the graphic you have on Murder Mayhem and macarons, mm -hmm. to me, that is perfect for a mug, a water yeah. bottle, whatever. You know. That's a good office. We're going to do an office theme for that one. <laughs> really? uh, well, I'm telling you, it's exciting. It's just exciting. All the things that you can do now. And, um, you know, and this community is so vibrant, really vibrant. And you yes. don't really, I don't think of writers as being vibrant communities. Writers are usually insular, individual people who crab and sit around and write and, you know, and, and hold things really close to the vest that has been my experience with other writers, you know, um, but uh, it's certainly not that way with Vela. This is a no. community. Everybody's rowing, you know, some of them with big old Popeye arms like Gage Greenwood, you know? Oh, Gage, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gage. <laughs> Love your arms. <laughs> He's 
going to be on our show too. Real okay, soon. Awesome. Yeah, great. he's on the list. Um, Perfect. So, it, yeah, it's going to be great. So, no, I, I think. Guess you, oh, I think serialized readers are. More, you know, our stories are alive. They don't end, and you, you know, I mean, they're just can organic and I think that's what makes it more fun because you have something new coming out at all times it really is a lot of fun and that brings me to my next question I always put everybody on the spot what you got in the hopper oh all right well you know the shorts are just denial there's my associate your associate wants some attention um <laughs> she wants to go bark at the neighbor that's all she ever does Neighbors oh my goodness dog. Um, no, the shores have kept me pretty busy this last year, so I can't wait to launch lunch like really, really like go for it. Um, but I'm always fast drafting something and it is going to be another murder mayhem macarons type book. Yeah, is that right. Are you going <laughs> to reprise your heroine and have her into another adventure or is it going to be a new heroine and another adventure? I haven't decided. <laughs> I think it's going to be a new one, although I love Alex. I do, even though I called her Allie, but that was because I was thinking of your agent, Allie. <laughs> that, and you know, my mind is everywhere at once. And yeah, and 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 so is so are most writers are that way, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think that we can expect great things from you. Like I said, I'm hating on you hard though for having that uh, Shores of Driftwood Isle ready for the summer readers. Each. Yeah, and. And the hat. And the hat. And the hat. The Don't hats. you look like perfection in that thing? You do. You definitely do. <laughs> and um, I can't wait to read that as well. Now, let's see. You you already said that you use an editor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you? you yeah, do. for the, the shores of Driftwood Isle. Yes. Yes. You haven't used an editor for other things? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. My... Oh, let me back to these. Um, yes, I have. <laughs> I found I had to hire one. I was just leaving too many typos here. Oh yeah, you can't really read your. I can't own see them anymore. No, yeah, and you're thinking, and you're not looking, and yeah, you need an editor. Yeah, yeah. your eyeballs just go glassy and can't see, don't know what you're doing. Yeah, mm -hmm. been yeah. there, done that. Hired a yeah. guy. Or like the chores of driftwoods in two different point of views. And so then I just like flip them halfway through and I'm like, oh, that's probably not good. <laughs> so yes, no. So are your um, works written in the first person or the third? Um, they're all first right now. I was doing the shores in third, but then um, when I changed it to serialized reading, I decided I would have two point of views and make it in first. That is really popular right now. Yeah, that's why I changed it. First point, first person POV, and I'm I'm in I'm learning how to write in first person. I I never did before, but I think it's what a lot of the serial readers really want, so that they can easily slip themselves into that role and imagine that it's them that they're reading about. So I want to give them that. If that's what they want, I want to give them that. But I've always traditionally sucked at it. So you're very well, good at it. And uh, a, a, lot of folks, a lot of folks out there are really good at it. Now, the next question I want to ask you is, other than your own, what are your favorite Bellas? Give me two. All right. My fave of the week or last week, I guess, is it the, still this week, right? Yeah, it starts over on Sunday. So my fave of the week was Onyx Eyes. From Onyx Eyes. Wilson. Yeah, it's a, I have a son, a teenage son, and we like to read, I like to read what he's reading, and um, I really love it. It's a fantasy, young adult fantasy. Love the graphic on that one, too. That would make an excellent book. Um, and uh, Forest of Stolen Moments. I just started memories. that. Memories. Um, oh, memory, memories. Forest yes. of Forest Stolen of Memories. Memories. Yeah, I just started it like yesterday. So Is that's that a how it one? Yeah, yeah. Any place where all your memories are gone, that's a good story to, to write. So Yes, she's going to be on the show real soon too. She's on the list as well. We've got awesome. so many great authors, including yourself that we're talking to. Just very exciting time to be in Villa. 
and uh, watching it develop because all of your all of these personalities coming together and helping each other it's just it's a phenomenal thing um it's a real i don't know if i want to call it a zeitgeist because it's not everybody but this in this community it is within itself it is uh there's a zeitgeist of of team and camaraderie that is very exciting to witness and be a part of. Um, so let's see, what else did, can I ask you about your writing career? So we, you said you're fairly new to mm -hmm. writing. What is fairly new? Did you write in high school? Did you write, did you always want to write or? Um, I did write in high school. Now I went to high school with 25 kids. So uh, my class was 25, there was some other. <laughs> classes but um, my graduation class was uh, 25 wow and so I won a writing award so you know it's wow. high competition <laughs> <laughs> um, and my family always said you you should write or you need to write or write that down or that story is hilarious you should write that down and then when Facebook came up you know they're like oh that's funny you should put that on Facebook or whatever like that but you know I I was business and I was an accountant and I did the corporate thing, uh, which is great. I had fun with that. And then my kids got into high school and I was just, I need to be with them. I only have like four more years. So I stopped corporate America and they were in serious AP classes, like big writing classes. And we'd sit around and write. And then one day I'm like, I should actually write a book. And they looked at me like I was nuts. Um, and that's Dancing with Aurora. That's what I wrote with them all around this table outside while they were doing their school boring stuff. Um, yeah, so that was my first. And then I like got bit by the writing bug and um, have loved it ever since. Well, you're sure very good at it. I can tell you that. Thank you. Very good at it. Okay, so your experience out on Bella, I know that, well, you've killed it with Murder, Mayhem, and Mac Rons. I, I usually ask people, hey, how you doing out there? But I know how you're doing <laughs> out there. Well, thank you. Thank um, you. So you are you are happy? I'm happy. Thank you. Like all, all the fans, I just can't thank them enough because it's so humbling. I mean, just that I would have never even guessed. Never even guessed, so. I'm very, very well, happy. Well, you're a good writer. You're very deserving of praise and very deserving of the fandom that you've earned. And I will be putting links to uh, everything that you want me to put links to. If those two books are available, we'll put them underneath the Vela's because yeah. this is hella Vela, but uh, yeah. we still want to feature everything that you authors have written because folks want that. People want that. And um, I will make those available. Also, uh, you'll be able to contact Kim, Kim, Kimberly. Do you want to go by Kim or Kimberly? Oh, uh, well, my friends call me Kim. So you can call me Kim. But my name is Kimberly on the book. Mainly, like, this is so funny. This is the decision making. Because it fit longer on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I, love I love it. I love it. It's scientific. So it was very scientific. <laughs> Well, I love it. I love it. And I love that you are, like your books, light and free and lovely. And I just oh, am so you. excited to have this time with you today. Anything. And thank you for promoting Bella, because I think it's up to us, like the authors. Well, for yeah. now, for sure. For now, um, yeah. Since there's no other available outlet through Amazon yet. And I think we're doing pretty good getting ourselves out there, by golly. We yeah. don't need them. <laughs> but we could use you. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, this has been another lawless interview on Hella Vela. And we've been here today with Kimberly Titus, author of Murder, Mayhem, and Macaroons. Also author of, yeah, you can't see it yet, The Shores of Driftwood Isle, which I hate her for because it's going to be a great summer read and summer's coming right up, folks. So don't forget it. Shores of Driftwood Isle. I'll put it down here in the, if she, whenever she sends me the link, we'll put it down here in the description of the video so that 
you're hearing about it, you'll be able to go straight there. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment here on Hella Vella, and we'll bring you a lot more talented authors to talk to and tell you all about what they're doing out on Vela and what they're going to do out on Vela. So we'll see y'all soon. Kim, say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> Take care, everybody.